What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston here. Um, before I start off with my video about YCS Mexico, I just wanted to show some love to my friend Adam. My friend Adam made me the um, intro that y'all just saw and the music. Um, I'm using my friend's MacBook because mine is in the like in the works of being fixed and all that. And mostly, I want to know what happened to my profile as well. All the profiles that I had uploaded. Is on that computer, so I just have to wait and see if everything can be recovered. But without no further ado, y'all already know Samurai's took YCS in Mexico. Why Samurai's won? Who knows? But the fact still remains that in order for you to be dangerous and feared and um, a household name in Yu-Gi-Oh! is to understand the game as a whole. You can't understand it as... Well, I'm just going to play the cheesiest deck because I don't feel like thinking and all that. Because, as we just saw, you don't have to think like that to win. I wanted to show some love to um, Barrett Keys. He he came from California, went all the way to Mexico, and went undefeated in the Swiss rounds. He's a very, very, very good and talented player. I had the pleasure of knowing him. And um, I was really rooting for him and all that. Even though... I did not even I didn't even know that Samurais and um plants and gravekeepers will be like a will be like a deck over there. But I guess that's just my ignorant side talking. But without no other, congratulations, Barrett. And Josh Graham also, congratulations. Now, what do we do now? Well, why is CS Atlanta coming up in probably less than two weeks? Do we all jump on the bandwagon of Samurais? Or do we just continue our our play style and playing wind-ups and Zectors, Rabbits, and Plants? The, the, those are the decks that are mainly um, seen over here. You rarely see Gravekeepers. You rarely see Scraps. So what do we do, guys? I know a lot of people, because I, I woke up from my nap and all that, and all I see on Facebook is... Oh, I'm going to play Samurai. I'm going to play Samurai. I'm going to play Samurai. Then I get a message in, in my Facebook inbox saying, Jarrell, well, you topped with Samurai last year in February. Will you be playing it again now since they won? I said, won? What did they win? And then I go and check, and then I find out that Oscar wins YCS Mexico with them. And now I see all these people on Duel and Network. They had to jump on fucking Duel and Network and make a Samurai deck. Because now I see everybody and their grandmama playing Samurais. So, what will you do is the question. Do you think that Samurais is, is a deck to be, like, to be worried about? Do you think Samurais will be your main choice now? I wonder if this Samurai deck played Tour Guides and Maxis, you know? I wonder if this Samurai deck played, a, like, Triple Effect Veilers. Who the hell knows until the deck list comes out, guys? But I just wanted to share my concerns with... YCS Atlanta. I still think that Dino Rabbit is the best deck, but I think that Wind Up and Insectors and any variant of those two decks will be seen more. Now, I don't I'm not a fan of plants and I'm not a fan of gravekeepers, but I think gravekeepers will be seeing a lot of play due to their ability to royal tribute you. Probably first turn or second turn. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned to my up and coming videos. As long as I borrow this computer, I can try to give y'all some more videos and some content. The profiles is coming back, so just think about it as me breaking them up in like seasons and segments, like Jersey Shore, whatever the case may be. Um, I know the week before Atlanta, which is next week, I will be um, giving y'all a video. From underdog players and probably two good players that's well known around the world.